All right. So as a business owner or somebody in business or somebody that kind of almost wants to know about business or do accounting or look at finance stuff, you might see all these crazy acronyms all over the place and go, what the heck am I looking at? What does this mean? How does this affect me? And what do I need to know about this? So Melissa and I are going to answer some of those questions today while <laughs> eating hot sauce, while dying. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right. Whew. All right. FA. FA stands for fixed assets. Fixed assets are something you record on your balance sheet. They're assets that belong to your company that you use generally in, in uh, carrying out the activities of your business. You depreciate them over time. COGS or COS. Cost it is sold. Cost of sales. <laughs> I got the terrible one. <laughs> All right. Cost of goods sold are important because they're the direct costs that are directly <laughs> related to your revenue. <laughs> they go, you get revenue, cost of goods sold, or cost of sales. Gross profit. Gross profit is really important to monitor for businesses. Yep. <laughs> AICPA. The AICPA is the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. That one was really bad. It doesn't even taste good. Uh. American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Um, to be a CPA, you need to be registered with the AICPA, and it provides a great listing of existing CPAs in any state, um, and also provides a lot of resources for CPAs to use. This is a good one for you. What's the IRS? <laughs> the Internal Revenue Service. Oh, that was really hot. It's got a slow burn. They take your taxes. They collect it. Ooh. They monitor tax law. All that terrible stuff. It's getting worse. It's getting a lot. It's getting really bad again. I got the two hottest in the first. We're okay. Is it really hot? <laughs> Are we talking about the CPA? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> FAR, oh, FAR is the financial portion, oh, the financial accounting portion of the CPA exam, generally known as the hardest portion of the CPA exam. It's the most content and generally the most dreaded for CPAs. No, I can't do this one again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not happening. Well, here, we'll do one to the, to the side there. We'll give Liz a pass. That one is really bad. Liz, what is SOX? Sarbanes Oxley Act of 2002 in response to Enron. It's important because it keeps people honest in accounting. GLTBCOA. The GL is a general ledger, TB is a trial balance, and COA is a chart of accounts. Your general ledger is a ledger of every transaction that's taken place in your accounting system. Every single transaction across every account. Your trial balance is the summarization of all of those transactions into your chart of accounts, which is the breakdown of every single account that you track. So for layman's terms, that's where all the stuff goes. Yes. And then the names of the accounts that it goes into. And that will roll up into your financial statements. Woo! FS. Solved. I'm done. I don't want to this ship. What is the app? Generally accepted accounting principles. These are the high level accounting <laughs> standards that we have to follow as accountants and CPAs 
if you get audited by a financial auditing firm, this is what they look for. Any publicly traded company follows GAAP in the U.S. ROI. ROI is your return on investment. What? ROI is your return on investment. <laughs> Which is when you invest money in something, it's how much money you got back in return. Essentially, there's actually a calculation that goes behind it, but without getting too technical, that's essentially what your ROI is. What is EBITDA? Earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization. It's a weird way of backing out all those numbers that aren't actually cash transactions to get a number that people can compare for reporting. Generally, the only people that are gonna ask for that are like board of directors or really old CFOs, white men. Who else cares about EBITDA? Your bank, your bank. Your bank wants your okay. EBITDA. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. I think this is gonna be my last one. CPA and EA. And CPA is a certified public accountant, and EA is an enrolled agent. To become a CPA, you need to have a certain amount of college and graduate level accounting classes. <coughs> Generally, this requires oh my God, I my throat. <laughs> a degree <coughs> in accounting. You also take a series <coughs> of four tests, uh, oh which goodness. is a very intense process, basically proving that you have a good handle on accounting principles. An enrolled agent is someone who uh, does a less um, or less rigorous set of uh, <sighs> set of. Um, uh, training, but at the same time, uh, they can also prepare tax returns. Um, generally, you don't have an EA doing things outside of tax work. It's also an IRS certification. The enrolled yes. agent is enrolled with the IRS. Okay. You can do it, Liz. What is AR and AP? Accounts receivable and accounts payable. Accounts receivable are when you issue invoices and you're waiting for clients to pay you. Accounts payable are when you receive bills from vendors and you're waiting to pay them. They go on your balance sheet. Okay, and I think that's all Liz and I can take for today. Wait, we didn't do income statement balance sheet. Oh, that's the board. All right, I got this. Jump some box. That one was really hot, Melissa. You guys, that one was really hot. I'm going to vomit. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Hey. Income statement. I have P and L, profit and loss. Same thing. That's where you have your income and your expenses, and then you get to like net income. That's weird. Or profit, net profit, or net loss if you suck. You have to be good at business to get net profit. BS is balance sheet. It's also bullshit, but it's balance sheet in this particular case. And CF is cash flow statement. Oh. Cash flow statement know. happens, um, you know, for board of directors generally. Most people don't pay attention to it, but it's good to know what it is when people ask for it, or if you're getting it's where your cash is going. It's cash, like oh. from all your activities, like investing or financing or operations, yeah. those things. Um, is there anything else we want to cover? PM is your profit margin. Um, it's basically after if you take your Gross margin, less your operating expenses, you'll get to your profit margin. That's an important thing. Oh, what else? SEC is the Securities and Exchange Commission. Another thing for accountants to work at, um, to worry about, that's what regulates companies and makes sure they're being honest. <coughs> okay, I think that's it. I think we're good. Yes, there's a lot more acronyms out there. We'll probably address some more in future episodes to come, but Liz and I have reached our hot sauce limit and uh, thanks for, <coughs> cheers. <coughs>
Thanks for tuning in today. <laughs> <sighs> I really